Next up, farming and ranching have evolved in countless ways in the last several decades. However, one component of that evolution that's somewhat overlooked is the ever-growing utilization of social media platforms in the various ag industries. Market Journal's Bill Dodd has the story. Growing up in a world of message boards and dial-up internet, I've seen the internet grow in simply unimaginable ways. On that note, the advent of social media has given rise to an entirely new avenue of connectivity, perfectly suited for people to publish and gather information or just share some personal insights. In a world that's become so fast-paced where we can order virtually anything we want and be greeted with a package on our doorstep overnight is a pretty big step from ordering that perfect gift via catalog, if anyone even remembers what those are. But the point is, with such a fast-paced way of life, the disconnect between producers and consumers seems to have grown in many ways. I had the opportunity to speak with social media expert Natalie Kavoric at this year's Women in Ag conference, and she tells me with the use of social media, many industries are given an opportunity to share and grow their image and brand, while simultaneously closing the social divides between those who make the products and those who purchase them. Um, I think it's doing a very good job of connecting uh, producers and consumers back together. Um, I think unfortunately, society, we've kind of drifted away um, and there is just a disconnect and kind of a little bit of a gap and um, producers now are stepping up and they are using the platforms of social media to help kind of bridge that and tell their story and kind of share um, what's going on in rural America with those that um, aren't privy to seeing it every day. That's the beautiful thing about social media. You can use the platform for a lot of different things. If you simply just want to get on there and share your story and show you know, the humanity that goes into raising beef or what goes into you know, planting fields and what we do every day um, as ranchers and farmers, it's a beautiful platform to, you know, visually to, to tell that and just show up and actually show people. But there's also like, ways to monetize um, and you can make income from, um, which is really big for some ranching and farming operations to have a little bit of an off-ranch income. It seems like there's some type of new social media platform for people and industries to utilize popping up online on a daily basis. While this means of communication is still in its upward trend, people have a seemingly infinite choice of which platform will best suit their needs. However, the choice you make on the platforms to participate on are entirely up to you. In the long run, there really isn't a wrong choice. And in many ways, it boils down to your personal preferences. I don't think so. I think they all kind of have their own little different niche. I mean, I do think across the board there's a lot of similarities between the different platforms. Um, I think it's kind of what you're drawn to. I am most active on Instagram and YouTube, and those are the kind of the two that I choose to spend my time on. But that's not to say that you can't have a very large influence um, and do a good job of sharing on different ones like Twitter and Facebook and all the other ones. So I think it's just kind of what you're drawn to and what, um, yeah, what you what connects with you about the difference between them. While social media has become a social normalcy in everyday life, that doesn't mean everyone interacts in the most courteous or socially acceptable ways. While social media is filled with wonderful stories and images, the anonymity provided to any given social media platform members do inevitably produce some very harsh interactions between people and gives internet trolls a handful of verbal ammunition. With that in mind, Natalie did have some very specific do's and don'ts to share about your social media practices. Um, I think do's are serving your audience, um, being there, showing up for the people that are there following you, supporting you, engaging with you. Um, and I think a big do is also that, is turning it into a community um, and really viewing those people that are choosing to follow you and give you their time um, you know, as a person and recognizing and connecting with them. Um, don'ts, I think we're... I think we have to be better about um, like sharing our stories in encouraging ways. Um, I know a lot of people um, have trouble relating to people in ranching and farming because we're so set in our ways or um, you know, we take offense to things and we're very passionate about things and I think we just have to be better about um, my good friend Amanda Radke, she's really big into um, advocating and she always talks about finding common ground. Um, and really connecting with people before we even start talking about ranching and farming and um, you know the statistics and all the things we want to share about it. Um, but really just kind of being more approachable. For those who missed their opportunity to hear Natalie speak at this year's Women in Ag conference, I wanted to leave you with her thoughts on why this is an important topic and what she wanted attendees to walk away with after her presentation. Um, just that everyone has a story to share um, from agriculture and that um, to really encourage and empower people to share that. Um, you know, we make up, uh, the people in agriculture make up about 2% of the population. Um, and that's very minuscule when you think of it in the grand scale compared to the 98% that aren't on a ranch or 
aren't on a farm or um, just, just removed from that lifestyle. And so I just want to be here to encourage people to utilize the platform of social media to really um, tell and share their story. As the trend of social media keeps following its upward momentum, the opportunities to grow your personal image and brand will continue to be an integral part of how people and businesses interact for the foreseeable future. If anything is evident, it's the fact that social media has become a platform for the masses, and that includes industries like agriculture. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.